before more clashes on campus at a rally tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Tompkins. And I'm David Rose. The college shut down operations earlier today to keep everyone safe in light of potentially volatile protests by Trump supporters and anarchists. And we've learned one person has been arrested so far. But overall, the rally was peaceful this evening. Here's a look at all the people who showed up. There was a pro-Trump group called Patriot Prayer, at least two groups of counter-protesters. Well, we're here to stand up for free speech and uh, stand up against the hate that w that's been spreading in uh, Evergreen State College. I actually have family members that goes here, and I have kids. So I know I do not go to school here, but I, I do not want this to happen when my kid grow up and goes to college here. Because my kids live in Washington, and I know he's going to be here, and I want that to change. Meanwhile, there's been a change of location for tomorrow's graduation ceremony. Traditionally, it happens on campus, and it's a fun event that students really look forward to. There's not even a dress code. But after a series of threats, the administration has moved the event to Tacoma's Cheney Stadium. And the move doesn't come cheap. Evergreen tells us it's going to cost them $100,000, and that will come out of the regular school budget. It means a major change of plans for the hundreds of people who are attending this ceremony. The new venue is a 49-minute drive away without traffic, and the students are participating, uh, anticipating a different vibe this year. There was one year there was a guy that got carried across the stage in a canoe. Like, uh, it's, at least in my eyes, always had a very fun, lighthearted feeling. Um, so it is weird that it's not going to be in the same place. It, it may not retain that feeling. Students we talked to did say, however, they're going to feel safer at this new location. <laughs> Authorities arrested one person tonight in new protests at the Evergreen State College. The protests and counter-protests were planned following a month of campus security issues. Self-proclaimed pro-Trump protesters say they were there to support Professor Brett Weinstein. Weinstein's criticism of race-related policies on campus led to campus-wide protests and even threats which shut down campus. Today, state senators called a committee meeting next week to examine and check out the ongoing issues on this campus.